Well, holy snap, crackle, and pop. Come on, Linda, we have got to go. Oh, hush, Chip, if I need to eat somebody, you're the first one I'm eating. Hey, Steven, stop pursuing me. <sighs> I hit it. Too bad steel targets aren't the ones trying to steal my baloney. We're almost there. Stop chasing me, Steve! Okay. We're here. We're at the bunker. We just gotta get down there and get inside and lock ourselves in. Okay. <laughs> Well, happy hallelujah on a Friday. Wasn't that something? Anyways, guys, we've successfully made it to the bunker. I just want to tell y'all what the heck's going on because I, I'm sure it's a little confusing. So I think we'll start off with the elephant in the room. Kennel dude, what are you wearing? And how do you make it look so good? Well, David, if you don't recognize this shirt, that probably means you didn't watch my last video. And you probably need to go back and watch it because if you didn't, you really missed out. <laughs> The second question, Kendall dude, what is going on? Is there really a nuclear strike in your area? Short answer, yes. But that's not what the evacuation was about. I evacuated just to test out my bunker for the night. I decided I'd give myself maybe 10 minutes to gather supplies. So I packed up my backpack and that's all me and Linda could do to get out in 10 minutes. Later. Guys, it was tough. I knew that I needed protection because I knew I was gonna shoot the steel targets before I even came out here. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So I brought four bullets and I missed three of them. But it's the one bullet that hit that really matters. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and collect my stuff. We're gonna go in here and well, set up a colony, I guess. This is the first night in the underground bunker, and I will be honest, I think we're gonna have a pretty good night. I don't think it's gonna be too tough. We'll set Linda right up there in the corner. We best be hoping no one comes in here because we don't have any more ammo. If you watch my last underground bunker video, you'll know that I put up the hammock and hung some lights in here. But after that video, I actually got this little shelf so that I can put stuff and then also brought in a sleeping bag. That way I don't freeze to death. You know, it's a pretty important thing when you're trying to survive. Oh my goodness, I don't like this tank top. It doesn't feel good. I mean, it is straight out of Spetsnaz surplus, so kind of worth it. I think it's pretty good. As for supplies, I could only get what I had time for. I think I got four water bottles. Then I got this cooking set. I actually forgot the gas part, so we actually can't use them. And then I got a banana and some pistachios because they had a commercial that was pretty funny back in 2014. And then I got some peanut butter because, listen, if I'm gonna die in here, I'm gonna die being a pretty sticky person. Ah. And then last but definitely not least, I got some chicken noodle soup, which unfortunately I cannot cook because I don't have any gas. Besides that, guys, it's probably about an hour before I go to sleep. I'm already sweating, so that's probably not a really good start. Ah, what a survival this is. I've already gotten a gunfight. I'll tell you what the bunker needs. It needs a chair. We don't even have a chair yet, guys. We just have a hammock and a shelf. We literally don't have anything. We don't even have an Xbox yet. Okay, guys, I'm back in the bunker. I just went out for a little night walk. I don't really know why I didn't bring the camera with me, but I actually had two near-death experiences. So the first one, I hear something squealing going, <laughs> Turns out it was just an owl, but he still tried to kill me. And then the second near-death experience, I thought I heard Steve, like, breathing beside of me. <laughs> like that and then I turned around and he wasn't there and I kind of you know I jumped in and I screamed a little bit but then we're down here and hopefully we're protected if I never post this video it's probably because something killed me oh yeah and Steve is absolutely triggered at that out like he does not want it yeah he's going crazy all right we're shutting the door back let's go <clears throat> that right there is as far as we're going to shut it for you know ventilation purposes and because that's actually as far as we can possibly shut it as for now guys i mean i really didn't plan this out too good i don't even have a chair in here literally all i have is a hammock so i mean i guess we're going to get in it try to figure out what we're going to eat in the morning pistachios i guess didn't really plan on sleeping in this but you know what when duty calls you just gotta go Ooh, oh, i don't like this Anyways, guys, there's really not much to do right now, so I'm just gonna try to sleep. If the bunker caves in or something tries to blow open the doors, I'll pick up the camera. See ya. Okay, guys, it's currently 2.37 in the morning, and let me just tell you, we're having problems. I don't know why this hammock is the worst thing to sleep in air. Trash, trash, 
absolute trap. It ain't gonna work. Now, unfortunately for me, it's gonna have to work, at least for the rest of the night. But long term, hammocks, I ain't gonna work. For one, they're super uncomfortable. And two, I don't know why, but I just woke up in the middle of the night, which is, well, right now, in a dead sweat for absolutely no reason. Maybe I got typhoid fever from a mosquito or something. And here comes Steve, thinking I'm a robber or something. Also, there's been coyotes howling all night. And then at one point, I noticed that Steve was actually like growling and he was getting pretty aggressive. But that's when I noticed it wasn't Steve. It was my stomach. And I was like, what in the world, dude? I just ate Burger King like two hours ago. Why am I hungry? I don't know, guys. It's, it's, it's just confusing. Believe it or not, surviving in a metal box overnight isn't really that easy. Yeah, I'm surprised, too. But I mean, yeah, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to jump in this hammock again. This is absolutely trash. It's like trying to sleep in a banana. I don't like it. My phone's on 1%, so I don't have my mosquito net yet, so they're just coming in whenever they want. I think we're gonna have an early morning because I don't think I'm gonna be sleeping much longer. Does it feel good? Ah. Uh. Mm. Aloha. I forgot my hat. Aloha. The first night of the underground bunker experiment has commenced. However, it did not come easy. Around the hour of 0300, we had a small attack from mosquitoes. Not only did they make it past our first defense, which is sheer intimidation, but they also made it through the front door. And somehow, they made it in my sleeping bag. Here comes Steve. He thinks I'm a robber again. Hello, Steve. What's up, bro? Anyways, it's like 7 o'clock right now. I am extremely surprised my phone is actually still alive. Hear me out, guys. I believe that the last... Steve, dude! I'm making a video! What are you doing? Leave me alone! Be quiet! Hear me out, guys. I believe that the last 1% on an iPhone is literally one of the strongest forces in the galaxy. Like, it just doesn't die. I think the guineas have found me, too. How did they even get in here? I don't even know how they got here. I mean, there's literally a giant fence around the whole... Steve, dude, what are you barking at? But another challenge we faced is an awful bed, okay? It's hard to sleep in a hammock, and guess what? We haven't even got to breakfast yet. I'd hate to imagine how hard that's gonna be. Moral of the story, I slept in it for a night. I figured out a lot of problems. Now I'm ready to fix those problems. Oh my gosh, Steve is in hot pursuit. What the heck, Steve? Oh gosh, Steve's gonna go kill something. Oh my goodness, that man's flying. Attaboy, Steve. Yeah, that's a good guard dog right there. I'm hungry, I'm eating breakfast. I didn't bring much, but I brought enough, I think. Maybe not. I know I brought something though. I know I got a banana, and if worse comes to worse, that's what I'm eating. Okay, okay, we got a banana. That's definitely gonna come in handy in a survival situation. We got a bottle of water. That's probably number two on my list. Oh, we got some peanut butter. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. And then we got pistachios. I don't think I like pistachios. But we'll give them a try, I guess. You know, we have chicken noodle soup. And I'm extremely confident I'm not going to be eating this because I don't have a way to. I'm just going to put that right back into the bottom of my backpack. I do have a live straw here so that I really could go over there to the mosquito pond and get good water, but why would I do that whenever I have a water bottle? Work smarter, not harder, guys. Hey, these are good. Pistachios, even though they are highly overrated, I'm actually starting to think they might be underrated because nobody eats them. The thing is that they're expensive, though. No one wants to eat a nut that costs like $6 a piece. One thing I learned is that I'm going to have to get fermented candles that can stop mosquito attacks. Put one right there at the door, light that sucker up. Hopefully that should help a lot. And then I've also got a mosquito net coming in. Honestly, should be here today. That'd be real nice to have. Peanut butter, pretty simple. Also need me a good burn bell so I can have something to do with this. Because it's not like I'm just going to have a garbage can in an underground bunker all the time. There's actually a lot of things I need. And I'm going to be getting them slowly but surely. Obviously, I'm not going to go get it straight up buy a power generator with solar panels overnight. If you're not aware, you know, it's kind of expensive. Same thing for clean water storage. Eventually, I'm going to get one, but not instantly. And for you guys wondering, when am I going to get the 50 cal? I am definitely going to get the 50 cal. But just like all the other stuff, that's a very expensive item. And I'm going to take my time and make sure I get a good deal. I ain't going to throw away money. Steven is absolutely triggered. He very well may be one of the best guard dogs ever. No cap, fam. It's been real, and it's been fun. 
but it ain't been real fun. It was a hard fought battle, okay? It wasn't handed to us. There's literally mosquitoes still trying to cheap shot me up here on my shoulders. They say, hey, hey, that KG boy, he, he's wearing a tank top now. Let's get his shoulders. They're exposed. Can't believe it. Ridiculous. But I'd just like to say, couldn't done it without you guys. I mean, I probably could, but you definitely helped a little bit. Anyways, guys, um, I would love to be do like a speech or something, but we actually have to retreat because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, and it's literally daytime, and I don't know. Like, we might have to take that pond out because apparently that's a breeding ground. I don't know. Another spot that's literally a breeding ground is the mud puddle right in front of the door. Smart people would probably fill that in, but I'm not really that smart. Anyways, in goes the water bottle, on goes the backpack. I am now doing the waddle to fetch myself a snack pack. Also, guys, if you want to watch a 24-hour like survival playlist, right here's a good video. Or right here for my last 24-hour challenge. It was pretty tough too. I barely survived.